Let's talk about some of your returning players, what you're expecting out of them. Well, it starts with Ashley Duffy, one of our seniors who uh, ended up leading the MIAA in steals last year. She ended up being a pretty good uh, offensive player also last year, so we're excited about that. We got Paige Redmond, who's a point guard who started a lot of games as a freshman last year and really worked hard this summer. It's in tremendous shape and uh, look for her to uh, even up her game a little bit more. We've got Andy Whaler, who is a senior, and then Sydney Crockett is uh, one of the uh, freshmen we had from Arkansas last year who played quite a bit. So we're uh, we're very excited about, about that group. Paige and Sydney specifically, what do you think they learned last year? Well, I, I think it was a situation where we beat some very, very good teams last year, and then we got beat by everybody. So I think they understood the importance of, it's not just the, the skill level of, of you or your team, it's it's how you come together, it's how you become a team. It's interesting because we had uh, two other Arkansas kids who redshirted last year, they're gonna be back, Peyton Taylor and Emily Jobst, and we expect them after a year of practicing and going through some injuries that they'll help us. Kendra Gladback was a junior college kid, redshirted last year. She should be able to help. We've got 13 players all together. Morgan Fleming is a freshman from Liberty. She was a Dorena Award winner. We look for some big things from her. Megan Skaggs was a 4A Player of the Year from Park Hill Central down south of St. Louis. Her sister, Sydney Skaggs, is a 6'1 kid that uh, transferred to us from Lumpsel. We've got a transfer from Lincoln, who is Kelsey Williams, and she is a one or two guard and should log a lot of minutes. Kayana Lee from Johnson County Community College will uh, shore up the middle for us. And we do have a freshman from Dallas, Texas, a 6'4 young lady by the name of Divine Nadu. So we've got a lot of different weapons. I have no idea right now how it's all going to shape out. I can't wait to really dig into practice. What are you expecting out of the conference as a whole this year? I think it's proven that uh, top to bottom we've got the toughest, uh, toughest league in the country. and all many different places have, have put that out and I, I agree with it. Uh, I've been in this league for quite a while right now, 22 years, and there's uh, uh, the bottom teams all have a chance to beat the top teams and the top teams are super solid. And I think the, the usual the usual people be up top, but there's a couple other schools that are coming back right now that uh, are making some pretty good inroads that uh, uh, nobody's staying pat. Everybody is working to, to get to that top of the league.